Tom Cruise, the unstoppable force of Hollywood. Thomas Cruise Mapother IV is an American actor and producer. Regarded as a Hollywood icon, he has received various accolades, including an honorary Palme d'Or and three Golden Globe Awards, in addition to nominations for four Academy Awards. Wikipedia Born, July 3, 1962, age 61 years, Syracuse, New York, United States. Height, 1.7 meters spouse, Katie Holmes, meters 2006 to 2012, Nicole Kidman, meters 1990 to 2001, Mimi Rogers, meters 1987 to 1990. Upcoming movie, Mission, Impossible, Dead Reckoning Part 2. Children, Suri Cruz, Connor Cruz, Isabella Jane Cruz. Parents, Thomas Maypother III, Mary Lee Pfeiffer. Born 1962. Few Hollywood stars have been able to make the transition from teen idol to mature leading man as gracefully as U.S. actor Tom Cruise. Though his clean-cut good looks have contributed to him being one of the largest box office draws of all time, Cruz also has received substantial critical acclaim for his acting skills and the overall quality of his films. Thomas Cruise Mapother IV was born on July 3, 1962, in Syracuse, New York. His childhood was complicated by dyslexia and his family's frequent moves, but he used sports as a way to fit in with his peers. When an injury forced him to give up wrestling during his senior year in high school, he tried out for a school musical and his newfound love of acting soon turned into a full-time pursuit. Cruz landed minor roles in the films Endless Love, 1981, Taps, 1981, and The Outsiders, 1983, as well as a featured part in Losin' It, 1983, before his career took off by portraying a good-looking, boy-next-door type who turns his parents' house into a temporary brothel in Risky Business, 1983. He solidified his new status as teen heartthrob in All the Right Moves, 1983, playing a high school football star striving to leave his blue-collar town. Beginning with his role as a cocky fighter pilot in Top Gun, the highest-grossing film of 1986, Cruz portrayed a series of likable but immature young men, including a pool hustler in The Color of Money, 1986, and a swap bartender in Cocktail, 1988. Critical opinion of his work soared when he starred with Dustin Hoffman in the Oscar-winning film Rain Man, 1988, and he followed with a Golden Globe Award and an Academy Award nomination as Best Actor for his portrayal of real-life anti-war activist Ron Kovic in director Oliver Stone's Born on the Fourth of July, 1989. In the 1990s, Cruz continued to work with some of Hollywood's most respected actors and directors, notably with Jack Nicholson in Rob Reiner's A Few Good Men, 1992, and with Gene Hackman in Sidney Pollock's The Firm, 1993. Despite initial objection from author and Rice, Cruz was selected to play the seductive vampire Lestat in the screen version of Interview with the Vampire, 1994. Rice later praised his work in the film. Cruz took on the dual role of star and co-producer for Mission, Impossible, 1996 an action-packed special effects blockbusters based on the 1960s television show of the same name. Cruz's success continued with Jerry Maguire, 1996, in which he portrayed a sports agent with a conscience. The National Board of Review named him the year's best actor, and he also earned a Golden Globe and an Academy Award nomination for his performance in the film. He claimed another Golden Globe and his first Oscar nomination in the Supporting Actor category for Magnolia, 1999. Cruz starred in a number of action films in the 2000s, including Steven Spielberg's science fiction thriller Minority Report, 2002, the epic drama The Last Samurai, 2003, and the crime thriller Collateral, 2004. Cruz reteamed with Spielberg on War of the Worlds, 2005, an adaptation of the H.G. Wells novel of the same name. In 2008 Cruz earned laughs as an abrasive movie executive in the comedy Tropic Thunder, and he portrayed a German army officer who organized an attempt to assassinate Adolf Hitler in Valkyrie. Cruz subsequently starred in the action thriller Night and Day, 2010, and as a 1980s rock idol in the musical Rock of Ages, 2012.
In some of his later films, including The Mission, Impossible Sequels, 2000, 2006, 2011, Cruz served as a producer as well as an actor. Cruz's personal life often attracted as much attention as his acting. After his divorce from actress Mimi Rogers in 1990, Cruz married Australian actress Nicole Kidman, his co-star in Days of Thunder, 1990, a film he co-wrote. They worked together again in Far and Away, 1992, and Eyes Wide Shut, 1999. The couple divorced in 2001. Over the next few years, Cruz's outspoken support of Scientology proved controversial, especially his 2005 public denouncement of psychiatry as an illegitimate science, a view held by Scientologists. In 2006, Cruz married actress Katie Holmes, although the two divorced in 2012. High-altitude thrills and adrenaline-fueled action take flight. The sky's the limit for Maverick as he soars into danger once more. In the cockpit of destiny, Maverick faces his greatest challenge yet. Buckle up for a wild ride where every moment counts. Legend returns to redefine the skies in an epic aerial adventure. Top Gun Part 3, coming soon in cinemas 2025. Top Gun 3 takes flight with heart-pounding action. Gear up for another thrilling ride as Top Gun 3 soars into theater in 2026. Directed by Joseph Konsiki and distributed by Paramount Pictures, this highly anticipated sequel promises to deliver all the underlying pumping action and aerial excitement fans have come to expect from the franchisee. Set in the fast-paced world of naval aviation, Top Gun 3 follows a new generation of elite fighter pilots as they navigate the challenges of modern warfare. With Konsiki at the helm, viewers can anticipate breathtaking aerial sequence, cutting-edge visual effects, and pulse-pounding soundtracks that capture the thrill of flight. As the pilots push the limits of their aircraft and themselves, they must confront their own fear and rivalries while facing off against a new enemy threat. With high stakes and intense dogfights, Top Gun 3 promises to be must-see blockbuster that will leave audience on the edge of their seats from takeoff to touchdown.